We have had our golden retriever puppy for about eight months now and it comes a point where they need bath. They need a proper bath to clean up their fur, they're very dirty and stinky and especially now when it's so muddy outside and so, ugh, you know, it almost feels like every walk you take, you have to give them a proper clean. It is definitely not a good idea to do that, to give them a full wash every time you go out because it affects their fur, you wash out the oils that they need and you know, all of that good stuff. So usually what I do every time we go for a walk, I take wet, wet wipes and I clean off all of the dirt and I spray them with warm water. I use various deodorant sprays for dog fur. At the end of it all, he is as good as new. But at times like today, for example, I don't think this is salvageable. There's so much dirt on his fur. He's not smelling nice anymore. And I'm like, you know what? I feel like it's time to treat him to a full-on spa day. And what I mean by the full-on spa day is give him a bath, obviously drying him in the use, cutting his nails. His nails got, have gotten longer already. I feel like it's time to do that. And brushing his teeth. He's a little tired now. He's been riding in the park, obviously. That's why he's so dirty. But you know, it's perfect time for him to relax even more in the bath. You ready for it? You gonna have a bath? You ready to have a bath? Step number one is to get this bad boy in the bath that I've just filled up with warm water. Wish me luck. Up in, up. Good boy. Do you want to go to the bath? Let's go to the bath. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Front paws are in. And back paws. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> We're gonna dive in the bath. Up in. How's the water? Is the water good enough? We are at the point where he's semi-dry for the most part and maybe it's best to keep it that way because I don't want him to overheat or anything and I think he'll dry naturally from here. What we can do is get his tails off. Your tails are so long. Arpi, your tails are so long. You need to cut your tails. Can you cut your tails? Can you please cut your tail? Now that we successfully semi-dried Arpine, it's time to get to the nail cutting phase. I have a special nail cutter. It has a special safety thing so that you don't cut too much. So I really like it. Okay, just because you're a very good boy, I'm going to give you half of a chicken peanut butter treat. Yeah. Okay, let's start with back. Legs. One sec. started filming the video and we did not brush our pin's teeth on that day. We got so tired. He was tired, he wanted to sleep. I was tired, I wanted to 
eat or something. I don't know, I was all over the place. As you probably have noticed when I kept calling these snails tails, that was weird. Yeah, when I get tired, I just lose the sense of language altogether. Anyway, I still wanted to show you how we brush our beans teeth. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we have a little toothpaste for both cats and dogs and we also have this toothbrush. <laughs> My cat Lara also wants to get involved. I guess we can start. this wasn't perfect. The more often you do it, the more they get used to it and to be honest with you, I don't do teeth brushing enough. So maybe we can introduce this into our routine and do it more often because they do say that teeth problems do arise over time and just like humans, they need to be brushing their teeth. Cats as well. Lara, you are included, okay? That was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, it can be quite a mission to wash a dog, especially a large weight. Sometimes I feel a little jealous of small dog owners because, you know, you can just pick them up and carry them around as if they're cats and obviously looking after their fur is way less of a big deal. But at the same time, with large dogs, they're just like this massive teddy bears that you can just hug and play. I love our pain so much. So I have to deal with the fact that he does love rolling in the mud every time we go for a walk. As I said at the beginning of this video, you're not allowed to give him a full on spa day too often. Some people say you're only allowed to give him a bath once a quarter or something like that. Obviously with mine, I do it a little bit more often, but most Mostly I just take wet wipes, I pour a bucket of warm water, take some cloths and just try to rub all of the mud off. Sometimes I dry them with a the hairdryer, sometimes I just let it dry on his own and I say hey. And then there's a ton of products out there, a ton of deodorizing products and you just spray and they smell really nice. To be frank with you, the second they dry up, all of the dirt just falls off. They look very nice and clean. It's just their nature to get rid of all of that dirt somehow. Yeah, you don't even notice. As long as the larger chunk of this dirt is you've gotten rid of it, once you get home after muddy walks, it's okay. Just let them dry and we'll be okay. Though I do understand sometimes you look at them and they're like black and you're like, oh my god, is it that day once again when you'll have to like give them a proper clean and spend two hours if you're doing trying to get rid of all of the dirt. It's not that bad in the end. Thank you for watching and see you next time.